Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Brains YouTube channel. If you're watching my lecture for the first time, do watch the video entirely so that you get a wonderful knowledge. Uh, at the end of my video, I'll show you uh, what was the first work that I did on the construction site when I newly joined as a site engineer. I'll, I'll show you that at the end of the lecture. And in this lecture, we will discuss whenever you join as a site engineer, uh, what all things you should be working on the construction site. Let's say you don't have any knowledge and you don't have any skills, but you got a job as a site engineer. So on the very first day, of course, everyone will be nervous. We don't know what we have to do and all. In this video, I'll explain you what all things you need to have an understanding so that you don't have to worry on the construction site. Yeah. So first is that whenever you get a job on any construction site, we have different types of projects. Like we have residential projects, we have uh, uh, we have uh, commercial projects, we have industrial projects. Then coming to like uh, infra, let's say a road project, highway, bridges, then water tank construction, airport construction, and all. These are different types of projects. The place where you have got a job, identify which project they are doing. Let's say they are doing a residential project. Now you got an idea that you will be working on a residential project. Second is when you go to the construction site on a very first day, nobody will give you any work. There will be certain uh, formalities and all uh, with the HR and all. And they may uh, make you sit in one particular place. That's it. And nobody will be speaking with you when you won't speak with them. Other people will be busy in their own work. The person who might have taken your interview may come and speak with you to make you more comfortable. You don't have to worry. Uh, somebody whom you know, you just go and ask them, uh, can you give me the architectural plan of this particular building? They will give you. Okay. So go and see the architectural plan. So that much knowledge you have, since you have done B.Tech or you have done uh, B or you have done diploma, this much knowledge here, at least you know how to read the plan. So once you get a plan, you'll say, okay, uh, where is a plan? We have, there's something called a section, there's something called as elevation. Then in the plan, at least they'll mention, like let's say it's a 2 BHK apartment on one side, 2 BHKs, other side is 3 BHK and all. Then again, let's say if it is a house plan and all, then there will be a toilet area, there will be a, a living area, there will be a kitchen area, the size of that and all everything will be mentioned if you at least go and read those things at least you'll have certain idea with what kind of project you're doing what's the area of particular unit and how many such floors are there that much knowledge you'll get from the architectural plan this much you can do after that you ask them for the structural drawing so in the structural drawing we have something called as footing drawing column drawing beam drawing slab drawing and all so look at the footing drawing that is the first drawing which you need to refer so when you look at the footing drawing on the right side, I'll show you that also at the end of the lecture, how our drawing looks. There's something called as general notes. In the general notes, they'll mention you what is the grade of concrete you have to use. You, are, you, are, you learned about M15, 20, 25 and all. They'll mention in this project, you have to use M25 grade. What is the grade of a steel you should use? Like FE250, FE250 is not available. FE500, 550, that also will be mentioned. You'll also mention how many floor of building you're constructing. That much knowledge by reading, you'll have an idea. After that, you read the footing drawings and all. So basic knowledge you have. We have isolated footing, we have combined footing, and then we have a raft foundation. This much knowledge you have, then we have a pile foundation. By looking at the drawing, at least you can identify whether it's isolated footing or a combined footing or a raft footing. This much you can do, right? If you at least understand this much on a very first day, that is sufficient. After that, there will be a column drawing, there will be beam drawing, which you can understand on the later day also. It's not on the very first day you have to understand everything. There is no competition as you, uh, that, that you have in the colleges. Okay, this is a complete different story when you get into job. There is no competition as such. Fine. The second thing is the column drawing. You see what is the size of the column. Let's say a 9 inch by 15 inch column, 9 inch by 18 inch column, 9 inch by 21 inch column. So at least that much knowledge you have, you can read what is the size of the column. Same in uh, in terms of the beam also. That also you can see. And also when it comes to the slab drawing, in slab you have a basic knowledge, like one-way slab and two-way slab. Then slab thickness will be generally 150 mm. If you look at the drawing, you can identify all these things. That much also you can do. After that, once all these things are done, maybe your manager or somebody might have told, go and visit the site. Now again, you're more scared now. So what I'll do on the site? Again, you don't have to worry. Before going to the site, you have a few ideas now. Through the general drawing, you understood you're using a M25 grade of concrete. You're using FE500 grade of steel. Two, two knowledge you have. Then you also know what kind of footing they at least use. Maybe isolated footing, maybe some combined footing. When you go to the construction site, try to see what kind of footings they're using, they're, they're doing. You, you are seen in your drawing, it is isolated footing. So you might, you might, you may see the same thing on the, uh, on the construction site also. So that, and that much knowledge you have, you can go and check it also. 
Second thing, what you can do, you check if some reinforcement work is happening. So in the drawing, you read FE500 steel you are supposed to use. Now go and see on the steel, it will be written FE500. So go and cross verify whether they're using FE500 or not. Let's say they're pouring concrete. So once the concrete comes, uh, we, uh, concrete will usually come to a transit mixer. So in the drawing, you are right, it is M25 grade of concrete. Once the concrete comes to the construction site, there will be a batch report which the uh, RMC driver will give to the site engineer or the QQC engineer. Go and check that. They mentioned it's M25 and all. That much if you can cross verify, that is sufficient. Apart from that, there are common observation which you can do. Let's say they are tying uh, some footing or maybe some column. There's something called as cover block. In the footing, we provide 50 mm. Column, it is 40. Beam, it is 25. Slab, it is 20. So let's say some footing work is going on. Go and check whether they are used a 50 mm of cover block or not. This is one check you can do. Now we tie the reinforcement. For all the reinforcement, we have to do tying. The tying we do with the help of binding wire. Now go and check whether all the reinforcement, what they have tied, the bar bend has tied, whether they are used a binding wire or not. Go and check all those things. Two things you can check. Now let's say they are doing some shuttering work. Okay, they are tying a, a footing shuttering or maybe a column shuttering. Go and check whether they have applied the oil to the shuttering or not. That you can check. Next is grade already I told you, concrete grade and all. Next, when they pour the concrete, you know, we have to use a vibrator so that we can reduce the compaction and all. Check when you, when the concreting work is happening, go and see whether the uh, vibrator is, uh, they're using the vibrator or not. Then when you're working in a good construction site, uh, safety of uh, all the labors is important for us. So make sure the labors are wearing safety, uh, I mean, helmet, the jacket, the shoes and all. So if you can identify all these things, if you can look after all these things, that is sufficient. This is more than sufficient for at least two to three days because on the very first day, you may not get all the activities. You may not get the footing work. You may not get a footing shuttering work happening. You may not get a footing reinforcement work happening. You may not, you may not get concreting work also happening. Okay, but at least if you have this much understanding, one complete day you can spend with the kind of knowledge that I've given you here. Apart from that, once it is done, next slowly you focus because on the construction side, uh, we have uh, many domains. Uh, not everybody will be working as a site engineer. Some may work as a site engineer. Some may work as a QAQC engineer. Some may work as a planning engineer and all. So based on the profile that is given to you, based on that, you improve your skills and all. That's it. Okay. Now, when I joined as a site engineer, the first, because when I joined the company, uh, the com I mean, the project was still in the pre-construction stage. That means we were still doing the backfilling work and all. So the first work, what I did on the construction site is, these people were, you know, uh, what you call, uh, filling the soil from here and taking to the construction site. I was made to sit and count the number of vehicle that is entering into the site. You're getting my point. Being an engineer, I was made to sit on the site and count how many number of such trucks are coming to the construction site and leaving the site. Sometimes we have to do such kind of works also. I mean, we we will call ourselves engineer, but sometimes what happens is these are the things you need to do. Since the project was in the initial, in the pre-construction stage, definitely these are the things which will be happening. That is the first thing which I did for the, at least for 10, 15 days, this was the work what I had done. Okay, because there was no other activity happening on the construction site. Okay, so based on the requirement, you can do all those things. That's it. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, for somebody who wants to know what all work I had done on the construction site and all, you can put it in the comment box. Uh, I'll explain you how, how how my journey as a site engineer started and I'll explain you all those things. I already uh, made a this thing for that. There's already a slide ready for that. I'll explain you. Uh, just one minute. Yeah, I'll explain you uh, what kind of projects I had handled, what all things I had done. And those things, are like, if you're really interested to know all these things, just put it in the comment box. We want your uh, life uh, site engineer journey. I'll explain you what all things I learned on the site and all. Okay. So this was the thing which I'll uh, explain in my next video. Now, for someone uh, who wants to learn all this more, in a more better way, let's say you want to learn how to prepare such kind of uh, BBS Excel sheets. You want to learn how to prepare such kind of BOQs. You want to learn how to prepare such kind of estimation sheets and all. Definitely, I've launched a lot of courses on my Civil Brain app. All these things I'll be teaching in my entire course. What you have to do is you have to download my Civil Brain app from Play Store. And I have given a free course for seven days. So just enroll in my free course for seven days. Try to see how I teach. Try to see how much you're able to understand from my teaching. If you feel I'm the right person to teach you, 
and definitely i would suggest you to enroll in my complete course so in this course i'll teach you the entire execution like i'll be starting from the zero level like right now i explain you a lot of things right like what are the different types of buildings we have then we'll explain you what is this flat slab system and all so in this way i'll be teaching all these things in my entire course uh, where we will understand what is pre construction stages what is construction what is post construction stages and and then we'll start from the fundamentals like what are the different grades of rebar uh, how do you find the unit weight of a rebar and then we'll start from the first activity that is a soil testing how we are going to do on the site how it is done what is spt test and all then we'll do a site clearance then all this mobilizations will be done on the construction site how to do that then all apart from that i'll teach you how to handle such a big construction site how to do the center line marking all these things i'll teach you practically through a construction site i'm showing you ppt here but in my construction in my videos i'll i'll play all the construction site videos i'll teach you how to do all the center line marking and all so that you'll get a wonderful knowledge so before showing that i'll show you a reviews of the students who are enrolled in my courses so you can read out this review you can read out this review uh, he had got a job of around 7 lakh package uh, who are enrolled in one of my course sir your all courses are good and i purchased two drawing reading and site engineer course best course till now i have went to various courses but this is something next level thing you are going to learn heavily recommended from site i got a job abroad in my uh, first interview now i'm in saudi arabia okay and you can check out this reviews also great course sir next level course okay and then just i'm showing you few of the reviews so that you get an idea uh, one of your learners in all your udemy courses that my confidence level is raising day by day okay uh, these are the students those are able to those were able to those were are enrolled in my course and have got a good knowledge you just sir i got selected only i got selected out of six candidates this course is amazing okay so in this way there are a lot of reviews these are the students who are able to learn from my online lectures and and able to do the work on the construction site okay this course is very helpful if you are a fresher okay yeah that's it so I, again there are a lot of reviews i'll quickly he, he is one of my student who got a job in dubai okay and uh, these are the students who have enrolled in my course and who are recommended more than 50 plus people to enroll in my course okay and then this is one more review one more review uh, this course helped me in securing my job as a site engineer okay so you can go through all these reviews these are the reviews given by the students and all that's it so i'll quickly run through another one or two reviews just a nice one explaining civil engineering the virtual platform is not easy because the reason why people are giving such kind of review is what offline people are not able to do through offline training i teach all those things through online lectures only the thing is i want your time your dedication and definitely some investment is needed to enroll in my courses okay just see all this course all this reviews and all yeah fine so uh, in this course the construction manager mastery course uh, we have different uh, is available in hindi or english language so if you click on english language we have level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 and level 5 in the level 1 we have complete site execution whatever i taught you here right same thing i explained in my entire course then i'll teach you how to read the structural drawings and all i'll show you one drawing also now because i told you that i'll be showing you the drawing also so this are the drawing how to read the drawing how to understand how to decide the column size beam size slab size and all those things will learn then we'll go to the new content that is about uh qqc quality control and quality assurance i'll be adding a lectures on high rise building constructions and all even the my one part then also how to do the quantity estimation all this sheets how do you prepare how do you take out the quantity and all those things i'll explain here quantity take off material calculation and then bbs calculation and all and after that of course there are then we'll go to the interview preparation lectures where i'll teach you the concrete technology interview preparation questions and ms excel and then we'll come to the Uh, project planning that is basic project planning lectures msp primavera and fundamentals of project management so in this way i have arranged all the lectures so first you download my civil brains app enroll in my free course if you don't want to spend big amount check it if you feel my content is good definitely enroll in this course in the free course and in 109 rupee course i'll not teach you everything don't expect that i'll give my 8 to 9 year of experience knowledge here that is definitely not going to happen my entire course you can enroll in this course where you get all my content in this particular lecture so i hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here and uh, if you have any other uh, thing any other video which you want from my side you can put it in the comment box i'll definitely make a video on that and as i promise i'll show you few drawings how you can understand that and you can work on the construction side yeah so uh, this is one of the drawing that i'm showing you so whenever you get any drawing you know, on the right side of the drawing they'll mention something called as note 
So just go through the note if you are new to a construction site. So from here, what you understood that they're using M25 grade of concrete. You understood that they're using FE500 grade of steel. Now you can verify the same on the construction side. Now they have given about the cover. I told you that for the footing, we should provide 50. Column, it has to be 40. They mentioned 30, but it is usually 40. Unless the bar diameter are less than 12 mm, you can go with 25. Beams, it is 25. That is correct. Slab, it is 20. And they also mentioned that this particular structure is only for G plus 3. So that means you're working on a G plus 3 structure. This much knowledge you have you can work on the construction side. Apart from that, this is a footing drawing. So now you have studied in your college that this looks like an isolated footing. So this much you can identify. This looks like a combined footing. This much knowledge here. Now when you're working on the construction site, make sure whether the same is happening on the construction site or not. Now this is, you're supposed to read the drawing. The name of the footing is F4. Like my name is Akshay. You people have your own name. In the footing also, we do a naming ceremony. So again, for that, we do a complete structure designing and all. Based on the load coming, we categorize the footing like F1, F2, F3, F4. Again, that is taught in my entire course and all. So F4, this is F6 footing, F4, then F3, F5, F4, F3. This is combined footing 2, this is combined footing 1, F1, CF1, F1 and all. Now this much understanding you have. Then you know this is size of the footing. 6 feet, 6 inch. This is in feet and inches. But when you're working in a good company, they have the dimensions in mm. But anyhow. Uh, the way of reading remains the same. So this is 6 feet 6 inch. This is 7 feet. This is 5 feet 6 inch. This is 5 feet. This much understanding if you have, you can definitely work on the very first day on the construction side. Then slowly, slowly you can develop the skills. Else, enroll in my course. They're far, far better than what you are not going to learn on the construction side. Even if you start to learn, you require at least 3 to 4 years to reach to the level what I have taught in my course, which you are going to learn in the next 5 to 6 months with a little bit of investment. And you see in the student's review also. That's it. So that's it. So in the same way, uh, this is for the column. So in the column, they have mentioned the size and all. Yeah, just one minute. Yeah, this is for the column. Now you can read C1, C2, C3. These are the names of the column. And the size of the column is given 9 by 12, 9 by 15, 9 by 15 and all. And these are the location of the column. Like footing, we have F1, F2. Column also, we have C5, C9, C5, C7. If you know all these things, it's enough. Apart from that, you should know how to do the center line marking. This is grid A, B, C and all. Again, slowly we'll learn. Otherwise, I have taught all these things in my construction methodology course and in my site engineer course. I'll teach you how to put the center line marking on the construction site, how to do all these things and all. So definitely enroll in my courses. So that way, you'll be able to learn in a more better way. So I hope you have enjoyed my lecture. And if you have any other topic which you want me to make a video, put it in the comment box. I'll see you back in the next video and do subscribe to my channel. That will help me a lot.